Okay, example 10. Find the zeros of f of x given that 4i is a zero. So here they tell me that um, 4i is a zero. So that means that the conjugate is also a zero, negative 4i. Since 4i is a zero, then what I can do is I can use synthetic division. Um, so my coefficients are 3, negative 2, 48, negative 32. Bring down the 3, 4i times 3 is 12i. Negative 2 plus 12i. And then multiply that times 4. So 4i times 2 is negative 8i. And 4 times 12 is 48. Times i times i is i squared. i squared can be replaced by a negative 1. So we get negative 48. So again, um, 4i times negative 2 plus 12i gives us negative 8i plus 48i squared. Replace i squared with a negative, and that's how we got this number over here. So now 4i or negative 8i minus 48 plus 48 is just going to give me a negative 8i times 4. That gives me a negative 32i squared. i squared is negative, making that a positive 32 plus a negative 32. So that's going to give me 0. So we know that that is uh, zero. So my quotient is going to be three x squared plus negative two plus 12 i x minus eight i. Okay, so these are your coefficients. So this is quadratic, um, but since I have these imaginary numbers, then I'm going to use synthetic division again with my second zero, negative 4i. So remember, the conjugate is also a zero. So here, my coefficients would be 3, negative 2 plus 12i, and negative 8i. Bring down the 3 times negative 4i is negative 12i. So if I add negative 2 plus 12i plus negative 12i, the 12i's cancel, giving me a negative 2. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8i. So that gives me a 0. So since we were at um, x squared here, now this would just be 3x minus 2 equals 0. I can add a 2. So 3x is equal to 2. So my 0 would be x is 2 thirds if we divide by 3. So my third 0 is 2 thirds. So you can still use synthetic division even if you have these imaginary numbers.